we're here at our Paul Moss unit in Hector County, Texas. This is one of about 80 wells in this area. Um, this well is drilled to the Grayberg Formation, which is at about 4,500 feet, so about a mile beneath the Earth's surface. And all of these wells around us produce from primarily two zones, the Grayberg and then the, the canyon, which is at about 9,000 feet. This well makes about 20 barrels of oil a day, and it's been producing for over 30 years. If you own the minerals underneath this ground, you would be pretty lucky. So we're in the heart of the Permian Basin. Um, this is actually what's known as the Central Basin Platform. And over 30 billion barrels of crude have been produced from this area. This is Mecca for oil and gas in the U.S. So this field is one field that we just acquired through our operating company, um, T2 Operating Corporation. Um, we just acquired about 450 oil and gas wells, very similar to this. These are long-lived oil and gas reserves. Um, and we operate all the fields, right? So we have uh, field superintendents and pumpers that actually come into the field every single day and make their living making these wells pump up and down and, and send oil to the sales tank. This is actually what's known as a, uh, as a pumping unit. Um, a lot of people see drilling rigs. This is not a drilling rig. This is what actually comes after the well is drilled. Um, but you can see the, the, the Christmas tree right there. That's where the actual hole in the ground is drilled. And the polish rod sticking out the top. Basically, there are uh, a series of, of steel rods that go all the way down. There's a pump at the bottom and the pumping unit will lift up and down um, and it pumps oil to the surface. So all the oil is transported um, from this location through pipelines to a central tank facility, which is behind us over here. Um, also, all the crude from all of these wells in this area is gathered in the, the central tank facility where it will be treated, um, separated from water, and then it'll be sent into a sales pipeline. So these wells actually run on timers, right? So they don't pump 24 seven, 365. What happens is that the engineers will look at um, basically a bunch of different factors and they'll decide, you know, what is the optimal uh, speed to run the pumping unit and, and for how many, you know, is it is it one hour on, one hour off, you know, 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off in order to basically maximize the amount of volume that's produced from the well. But at the same time, you know, con controlling, you know, how much you're spending because, uh, all of these these pumping units run on electricity, so the longer the unit runs, the, the more it costs us.